When you're working on a project, depending upon what it is, there's always challenges. I could be making something I've made for five or six weeks, and there'll be a new challenge involved, either with scale, quantity, uh, specifications, um, any kind of specifics, because there's always inconsistencies in your process. Things, you can't control everything. I can't necessarily walk in there and just, you know, hit it the first time out of the park. It's, it's like free throws in basketball. You can always make one, but to make 30 in a row takes a little bit of seasoning. And that's, once I get in the groove, then it's, you know, it's pretty easy, but I am relying on my team and I'm relying on the process to work out the same every time. From sun up to sundown on Tuesday, September 13th, shootings were happening all over Philadelphia. 13 people shot or stabbed and five killed in a 15 hour span Tuesday. Daryl was man 24 shot. No suspect, no follow up story. The triggering event was when I was actually called for uh, jury duty and I was amazed at how uh, many of the people in the room had been uh, close to a victim of a homicide. And I felt that in this day and age of websites that it would be possible to handle this by setting up a website to provide obituaries for the victims of homicide. Caitlin's murder initially uh, was reported she was just a first name. Um, Kate was murdered and, and that was it. After the first 48 hours there was nothing else. She didn't have an enemy at all. Um, we still don't know why this happened to her. Pilots, goggles down, thumbs up. Arm your quads. Three, two, one, race. I've been racing since about 2016. Way back in the day, you maybe have one person finishing. Now you have everybody finishing, and it's just so much more intense, so much more fun. I mean, they're going so fast now that you're, it used to take two minutes to do a lap, now it's 30 seconds. Everybody, once they get into the sport, they say, oh, I'll just build one, or I'll just build a pre-made one. As soon as they hit that first crash man, they're out there building and soldering and learning all the tricks of the trade. When I was a, uh, a child, I remember my father and also my mother knew some basic origami. And, um, and they showed me how to uh, paper fold some uh, standard origami creations like the frog, basic frog, basic origami crayon. And from that, you know, I really liked it at that age. And that just opens up a whole other uh, level of information for people on anything. <laughs> you know, and for me it happened to be origami. So I saw online what other origami people were doing. I saw what papers were available to use. I saw uh, how different models can be created and made on a, on a high level. 